So, good evening. And um, yes, I'm back again. I do apologise for being 27 minutes late. Um, I was out for dinner. Tapas. Uh, a little bit of tapas tonight. I managed to find some Estrella as well. I was on the Heineken earlier. I don't really feel Heineken, but Estrella, tapas. I'm fully bedded into Spanish lifestyle right now. Uh, fully learning in, uh, English. <laughs> yeah, I need to learn English. Uh, fully learning Spanish as well. But um, but yeah, listen, um, thank you very much again for anybody who missed my thank you for 30,000 subscribers video. Fully go back and check that stream out. And I do apologize as well, right? <laughs> it's mad. I have came so much data. I didn't know that there was a difference between data and EU data. And um, I've came so much EU data that my stream cut out and you have to top up your mobile phone with credit after that. Um, so yeah, I've came my EU data. So anybody who was trying to put comments into the last stream, um, yeah, it fully cut out. So I've topped up um, for about the the 500th pound since I've got here. But listen, it is what it is. And, and big up everyone. Listen, every single person, whether you like or hate, like the last guy I just kicked out, um, you're still watching. And, and I do genuinely appreciate that. But, um, but we're going to talk about Unai Emery again. Uh, shock. And um, yeah, Manu Petit's come out and uh, basically said he should be sacked. Manu Petit, absolute club legend. Um, one thing I find funny about Manu Petit is that he took the same route to Chelsea as Cesc Fabregas. Yet Cesc Fabregas is called a snake. Manu Petit still held as a, a club legend and a hero. Um, I love Manu Petit. I also love Cesc Fabregas and I would have fully took him back as well. Uh, big up my guy with the weirdest name on this platform, by the way. <laughs> you do this deliberately. Uh, loving the new uh, sticker that you've put in there as well. That's something that's new to the channel since 30k as well. Um, so, yeah. Slet, slat, slit, slat. <laughs> Thanks for your generous donation, buddy. I do appreciate it. You're from Holland, isn't it? If I remember rightly. Let me just adjust that so you can see the top of my head. Um, but, yeah. Let's get into what Manu Petit said. Thank you very much anyway. Listen, um, Let's get into the direct quotes from Manu Petit. I believe it is time for Unai Emery to leave Arsenal. He told Paddy Power this. Uh, the results are not good at all. I don't recognise this team anymore. I do not recognise this club anymore. Well, join the club, literally. Uh, come and join the club. Yeah, we'll take you back with open arms. Um, he then went on to say, Arsene Wenger built this club for 20 years and there was a concern um, as generation after generation came and went. But now they look like an average team without inspiration or creativity. Well, he's now on the head with that. Um, and I don't think that it's solely down to the players. Uh, my opinion is most of the players have given up on Emery, so it is time for him to go. I watched the game against Leicester City and Arsenal looked terrible. Yes, I was watching it as well, mate. Um, they had no spirit, no hunger, 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 hunger. Nothing at all. I wondered to myself, what is going on at this club? What is happening to this club? Um, they then waffle on about Rouse and Haley. Um, what the club became, what the club came out and said about Emery's job being safe is not true at all, says the World Club um, winning midfielder. This is a potential answer to most of the time when I hear officials or shareholders talk like this is. It's proof for me, and they're already thinking about sacking him. Um, it is the opposite of what might be true. And he's absolutely spot on. Um, that's the end of what he said, by the way. He's absolutely spot on, right? I said this on the stream yesterday when I did that. Big up Unique, by the way. Uh, my guy, when I come back to uh, England in December, we're fully meet up for a beer, bruv, all day long. Um, I'll come back to some comments and questions shortly. Um, but what he just said there about they've given up on him and they're they're basically hanging him. I did the stream yesterday where I did the um, Raul and Vinay have basically done a team meeting, a, a manager's meeting, a team meeting, a staff meeting, whatever you want to call it. And there was two ways you could have looked at it. There was the way that they are actually backing him, which I'm not completely sure, but they might be. Um, that's all the talk that we're getting right now is they're backing him, they're backing him, they're backing him. But then you can see it the other side of the coin that they've put him out on the on the window ledge and said, it's now in your court, mate. Yeah, one more dodgy defeat or one more dodgy result. 
and you're gone. We see ya. Bye. Laters, bruv. Um, so it could be clever reverse psychology from Raul and Vinay. Um, I'd like to think it is because let's be real. I think most people, the majority definitely are in agreement that he does need to, he does need to leave. Um, but at the same time, I'm still skeptical as to whether they are going to keep him on until the end of the season. Um, why not just cut ties now? It's the perfect timing to get rid of him. And listen, Manu Petit, the guy's an absolute baller. Him and Vieira in that midfield. Oh my God, what I would do to see that again now. Luckily, luckily, touch wood, yeah, I have actually seen that partnership and I see the glory days and I see the glory days before that as well. Um, so anybody who's not seen Arsenal win a league title, I do genuinely feel for you because I've seen this win a lot. I've seen this win five league titles since I've been alive. And um, yeah, it's, it's pretty mad, but he's right. He's absolutely spot on. They're a shadow of the club that I started following. They're, they're not working for the manager. They're not fighting for each other. There's no personal pride. Um, there's no will to win. There's no desire. Just nothing. It's a circus. And you know what? I spoke to my guy, Russ, yeah? Big up Guna Russ. Yeah, he voice messaged me earlier on this morning. And he said that he watched my stream last night and he agreed that it was a circus. And his words were, the footballing 11, the team, the squad, the manager, are um, an exact identical carbon copy of the hierarchy right now. They're a circus, yeah? And it, it's just like, it's like a fish on a bike. Yeah, it's just not the one, right? And, you know, we can all sit here every single week and try and look for positives, yeah? I've only predicted we'd lose one game this season. And I got drilled for that in the comment section. You're a fake fan. You're this. How dare you? I've had somebody today tell me, oh, YouTube channels like yours, they're, they're disgusting. All they do is, well, don't watch it then, mate. Don't watch it, yeah? I didn't ask you to watch it. And... It's not my fault that the team are uh, useless. It's not my fault that the team are not performing on the pitch. Big up James Freshwater, by the way. I saw you on Fake Taxi. You definitely didn't see me, bruv. You definitely didn't see me. Um, although that's saying I'm not like not going to rule out in the future, yeah? <laughs> yeah? But you definitely didn't see me on Fake Taxi. But um, but yeah, we're, we're exactly an identical carbon copy of the hierarchy. That team on the pitch, and I said it, and I'll keep going back to this goal, right, or the, or the penalty. Wilfred Zahar gets a penalty against us in the Palace game, right? Go back and watch that. Go back and watch it, because I didn't clock it at the time, right? And somebody posted it up. Um, I think it was Guna Adam on Twitter. Big up him as well, yeah? Right? Somebody posted it, and he just zoomed in on Aubameyang and Lacazette. They're not pressing. They're not pressing. And that was Palace. That was when I turned Emery out. I'd seen enough, right? So they're popping it around their back line, blah, 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 blah. They just stood like statues, just ambling around one yard, two yard, not pressing. Like Salah, uh, Mane, Firmino, Aguero, um, Mares, Sane, whoever the players are, Sterling, whoever, De Bruyne, right? So when you watch that goal back again, you're like, hang on a minute, where's your professional pride? Where's your will to win? Where's your will to fight for your teammates, yeah? It doesn't help that the manager picks a different squad and a different 11 every single week. But at the same time, everybody should be on the same wavelength. They should go, do you know what? We're going to fight today. We're going we're gonna to make sure we do not lose this game. Then you get the whole debacle, the fallout of Granit Xhaka, Ozil in, Ozil out. Then he's out for weeks and weeks and everyone's crying he should be back. Then Granit Xhaka does what he does. And then all of a sudden, Ozil's gone from being out, outcast to you're now starting every week. It is an absolute mess. And Manu Petit is absolutely spot on. Yeah? He needs to go. They're not fighting for each other. They're not working for each other. They've given up on the manager. Um, I think the manager has given up on them as well. Um, I don't think he's working as hard as he was when he first came in. I said this earlier on. Um, or yesterday, whenever it was, when he first came in, it was press, 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 press. Where's that gone? Where's that actually gone? You know, Liverpool and Man City do that week in, week out. Harry Kane, whether we like him or, or hate him, yeah, that guy presses centre-backs like mad. Why are Bamiang and Laka doing that? 
Yeah, where's the work rate? Where's the hunger? Where's the passion for this football club? Because guess what? I've got it. You lot have got it. Whether you support Arsenal or not, you've got it through your own team, yeah? But all the Arsenal fans in the chat, you've got the hunger and passion. You guys get up at stupid o'clock in the morning to watch Arsenal. You sit there all week knowing how crap we are, right? And you still sit there and look for the positive and go, do you know what? We're going to win today. And you get up at three in the morning. Big up Guna Russ. There he is. I just mentioned what you said to me on voice message this morning. We're, we're an image of the, of the spineless and, uh, and um, gutless board. Yeah, it's a circus. And that's why we look it on the pitch. But all you guys that don't go to games, like me now, I don't go to games. And we all live abroad now, like me. Yeah, just because you live abroad don't make you any less of a fan. Right. And it don't make you any less of an Arsenal supporter. Right. And Every single game we play, I will always try and look for the positive, even if I think we're going to get slapped, yeah? I thought that Leicester were going to slap us, but I looked for the positive. And I thought, Do you know what? They're an attacking team. They press, they keep the ball. If we can recycle the ball quickly and get over the top, we've got a chance. So I tried to stay positive. Where did that get me? A 2-0 loss. Spineless again. And everything Manu Petit has said has been absolutely spot on. Yeah, it's a shadow of the club that I fell in love with before Wenger, when it was George Graham. In fact, like before that. Um, so, yeah, it's just, it's depressing, man. It is depressing. And I'm hoping that the staff meeting that they had yesterday was, a. Uh, there you go. You've been hung out to dry now. You're on that last little bit of that window ledge clinging on by the skin of your teeth or whatever, or your fingertips, yeah? And if you fuck up against Southampton, you're gone. If you fuck up against Norwich, you're gone. But why do that? Why not just go, bang, see you later? Yeah, there's talk of Arteta. There's talk of Luis Enrique. There's Jose as the favourite with Ladbrokes yesterday. Um, Allegri's available. Freddie Lundberg could take it. There's options. Yeah, why not cut ties now whilst there's an international break and go, bang, let's just sort this season out because there's still time to sort the season out. But the longer we leave it with this manager, the longer we leave it with Granit Xhaka, don't want to play for the club, but he'll happily play for Switzerland. Um, Mesut Ozil in, out, shake it all about. Aubameyang and Lacko have gone so far off the boil, it's unreal. And Tierney can't get in the team. Pepe can't get in the team. We're playing Torreira as a number 10. So many things have gone wrong this season and it's mad. It is actually mad, right? And it needs to be fixed now, yeah? Why wait? We've seen enough. The last eight games, and I'm still waiting for somebody to tell me, so if anybody knows, right, the last eight games of last season and then the first 12 of this season, that's 20 games. How many games have we won? We've won four this season. How many, how many did we win out of that last eight? I can't remember. Yeah, that's 20 games. That's over half a season. How many games have we won from the last eight of last season to right now? We've won four this season in the league. How many did we win in that last seven or eight or whatever it was? That is half a season. Half a season. It's relegation form. Yeah, relegation form. Yeah, the alarm bell should have been ringing after Baku. Yeah, they weren't for me because I was like, no, nope, he's the man. Listen, we got to the final. We capitulated. Okay, cool. Yeah, we've spent 140 million. Let's go again. Let's give him another chance. That another chance has now cost us again. Um, so we won one game, Russ. Yeah, there you go. So we've won five games out of the last 19 or 20 games. Not good enough. That is relegation form. Yeah, the alarm bell should be ringing right now in that board and going, bang. See ya. Ta ta. Thanks for nothing. Laters. Bye. But there we go. I'm not in charge. Um, it's all old duffers that are in charge. That ain't Arsenal men. Uh, they're all money men. And um, the ones that are Arsenal men are about 80 years old. No disrespect to age or anything, but they're about 80 years old. They're multi-millionaires and couldn't give a fuck. Yeah, my man's down at the horse races. That's all he cares about. Yeah, Chips Keswick. Do one, bruv. Yeah, do one. Anyway, I'm waffling. 486 people watching live. Thank you very much again for 30,000 subscribers. Um, every single one of you, mad love. Always humble. Always appreciate it. Thank you genuinely. Um, I do appreciate it. And I, I'll try and up it even more. Next step, 50K. It's not about 40. It's about 50. So 
Drive the likes up. I'm going to do another five minutes or so of comments and questions. Big up DJ Crane, a real one with the $20 donation from the US. Um, I do appreciate that as always. You don't have to do that, as you know. A lot of people say that you, um, no, I get it all the time. Oh, you profit off a loss. You profit off a failure. We'll stop being failures then. Stop being failures because guess what? I was here when we were winning. Um, here when we lose. Here when we draw. And um, here before social media. So, so yeah, let me read your comment out, bruv. Lee, congrats on all your hard work and heavy drinking. <laughs> uh, listen, guts are still, baby. Guts are still. Um, entertaining. Keep it entertaining. I'm glad I have subscribed time ago um, than when I went MIA because of YouTube and super glad you found your new, I found your new channel for the Sylvester's my friend. I oh, listen, bruv. I don't know where you're from in America. When I come to America and I'll fully do America one day, yeah, I'm going to pull it out there and we'll do a little meet up with all the Americans. I'll do a little tour of America one day. Genuinely. I mean that as well. I will do that. Same with the U S as well. Yeah. Um, uh, not the U S Australia. Um, Australia and US, it's mad. You lot are active, yeah? That's not saying I ain't coming anywhere else before anyone jumps. Come here, come here, come here. Yeah, there's loads of places I want to go. My pockets ain't that deep right now. <laughs> um, Arsenal Till I Die says F and that's all day long. All day long. What about the Southampton game, says Brian? Um, listen, they got lamped 9 0. If we don't get sank out of that, Jesus Christ, mate, mate, I don't want to say liquidate. Just liquidate New York City. Come on, New York City, Guna. Tour in the Datsun. Come on, VP. Another real one from the US. All right, bruv, the tour of the Datsun. I, I said this on a stream weeks and weeks back, yeah? I'm going to do at some point, right, maybe next summer, yeah, a tour in the Datsun, 80 days in a Datsun with a boot full of Stella or Estrella, right, and see how many countries I can go to in 80 days and vlog it every single day and upload it. That would be sick. It all started in the Datsun. Uh, come to Atlanta. Of course, man. Of course. Come to London. Bruv, London. I love London. Best city in the world, Rickin. Um, love it. Big up on 30K. Thank you very much, Matt Moher. I hope I got your second name right. You're living in Spain. Come on. Of course I'm living in Spain. We're drinking Estella. We're eating paella. The boys are fucking, the boy is fucking magic. But yeah, um, there's so many places I want to go to that I've not been to. So listen, it costs a lot of money to travel to some of them. Um, a lot of these places are a lot of money. So obviously Amsterdam, another one, Cami, never been to. Uh, Big C says we'll probably lose to Southampton. Well, that's typical Arsenal, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? They get spanked 9 nil by Leicester. They come to the Emirates, turn into a prime Barcelona with... Does Shane Long still play for them and Charlie Austin? And um, yeah, they'll probably beat us. And would we be surprised? Nope, probably not. Um, it's kind of embarrassing. And and this is the thing, right? I put a lot of faith in Unai Emery and I've stuck my neck out on the line for Unai Emery and I've took a lot of abuse for Unai Emery. Um, a lot of people doubted him from day one. I was happy Wenger left or sacked, whatever it was that happened, he's gone. Um, I was happy with that, yeah? And I thought, it doesn't matter who it is, I'll back the next manager for maybe a couple of years. Yeah, I see enough last season to see that he's got something about him, but then we capitulated towards the back end. Then we lost the Europa League final. Um, and I was like, okay, okay, let's see what happens in the summer. We then go out and do all the money in the summer. Second highest spenders in the summer, by the way, behind Man United. Uh, spent more than Man City. Spent more than everyone other than Man United. and. This season has been the worst start of a season since the year I was born in 1982. That is disgusting. Yeah, he needs to go. Austin is at West Bromwich Albion. Thank you for that, Colin. Well, I'm sure somebody will turn into a prime Charlie Austin. <laughs> um, do you think Sheffield will finish above us, Lee? Well, that's a very good question, MK Kravitz. Uh, very good question. Um, they're above us on goal difference. We've got a minus goal difference. Um, which is our worst for five, six, seven years, something like that. Worst start to the season for, um, God, well, 37 years since I was born. So is Pepe a bad buy? I don't think he is. I just don't think he's being used properly. How are the sexy, spicy senoritas? Um, well, listen, I, 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 ain't, I ain't saying nothing. My lips are sealed. Um, 
Some players don't make it in the Premier League. Same goes for managers. Well, exactly, Peter. Exactly. Some managers come in and get burnt straight away. Who was the guy at Swansea? Um, he's got a twin. Dutch guy. What's his name? My man got sacked after four games. Yeah. Um, after getting them to a final or whatever. Listen, some people just don't get it, man. And some and, and this, this league is unforgiving, by the way. It swallows up bigger and better players than some of the players like Pepe. Um, over the years. Listen, Falcao got swallowed up here. Torres was unbelievable at Liverpool, flopped at Chelsea. So it don't matter if you've done it in this league. Just if you switch teams in this league, it don't it don't matter. Yeah, this team, team um, this league, sorry, is ruthless. Um, and Emery is literally getting swallowed up right now. It's not good viewing. It's not good viewing if you're an Arsenal fan. Ronald De Boer, or no, Frank De Boer. Thank you, Fly Emirates. De Boer, thank you, Laka Blood Clark Zet. Not the real one, but I know what you mean. What is important is Liverpool win a title. Title Dunley for you, says Mohamed Abbas. Um, it's looking that way. I can't lie. And and now the only question is, is do you go invincible? Yeah, because 11 wins, one, lo uh, one draw, no losses. Slapping up everyone, you're looking on fire. And one loss in the last 50 Premier League games. And that was to the team you slapped the other day. So... If you don't lose to Man City, I can fully see you going invincible. Um, it'd be a shame because I'd like us to be the only team that have done it, but we'll always be the first. But I can see it, and you've got the team for it. The one thing I will say is if Van Dyke gets injured, that's a game changer. So if you're a Liverpool fan, pray to whoever you uh, believe in and make sure he stays fit. Remember, City caught up seven points, so maybe nine possible. Well, it is possible. And if you like, listen, we caught up 13, 14 before. So did Man, Man United back in the day. But the league's different now, man. It's different. It's not like, you know, everyone plays good football now. Everyone plays attacking football. Everyone can score goals and everyone can beat everyone, yeah? I remember watching uh, Liverpool against uh, Sheffield United the other week. Sheffield United should have won that. Well, they shouldn't have won the game. And they didn't. But they had chances to be 1-0 up, 2-0 up, 3-0 up. Yeah, Mane was missing sitter after sitter after sitter. Their goal was a calamitous goal, you know. So everyone can beat everybody. And it's not an easy league, like I've said. Um, so, yeah, it, it's, it's not easy. And I do think Liverpool were in prime position. And I thought City would win it again. They ain't looking the city from last season, so it's all in Liverpool's hands right now. If they bottle that, then there you go. Congrats on 30k. Now you can take over as chairman, says Cammy. Big up yourself, Cammy. Thanks for your generous donation, buddy. I do appreciate that. Um, honestly, do appreciate that. Thank you. And um, I'd take over this club right now and run it better than the clowns that are in charge right now. It's a circus. Over 500 people watching live. This is rinsing my mobile data. I've literally done 20 quid data since I've been on this. So um, I'm going to wrap this up in a couple of minutes. Do drive the likes up. Do subscribe. Road to 50K. It's not about 40K. It's about 50K now. Um, got some exciting stuff coming up soon as well. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, what happened? Where's that gone? Where's it gone? Big up Tokyo Guna. Can't believe Man United and Spurs are below us. But that's the thing. Yeah. All three of us are a shadow of what we used to be. Tottenham last season, Champions League finalists. Listen, whether you like expressions or not, big up expressions. I love that geezer. I never used to until I met him, by the way. But when you meet somebody, it's completely different, right? And I changed my opinion on that guy the minute I met him and spoke to him. I love him now, man. That guy's sick. But um, I watched one of his videos where he said, this has been coming for a long time since before Champions League. So it was like Champions League to near relegation. But this is the same with us. It's the same with Man United. You know, football's evolved. If you if you don't if you don't evolve, you get left behind. Which is something Arsene Wenger found out. He didn't evolve. Yeah, and that's why he, he ain't here anymore. But now the new managers come in, and it was a breath of fresh air. The media team were putting out video after video, training this, training that. Where have they gone now? Where are them videos now? Was that just to suck us in? You know, it's all PR. It's all it's all very nice to start off with, but when it's going wrong. Where's Josh Gronke? Because he was there when it was going right about be excited. We've spent a lot of money. Be excited. Yeah, I told you to be happy. I ain't excited. I can't even lie. Um, in fact, Wolchek, who's asking about my Twitter account, big up yourself, bruv. Um, I deactivated my Twitter weeks ago um, because it was boring. 
I set up Twitter to have a laugh. And now it's Ozil in, Ozil out, Emery in, Emery out. Oh, you're fit. Can I bang you? Oh, let me be thirsty on this guy. Let me be thirsty on that. Chin. Come on, man, seriously. And then everyone just calling each other vile names and stuff like that. So, yeah, my last mile is better without it. And I'll be honest, I don't even miss it. Yeah, I've got Insta. So anyone who wants to follow Insta, Lee Gunner 82, uh, go check that out. Uh, where do you think Leicester will finish, says Hamza Shazad. Uh, big up yourself, bruv. Um, I think they could get top four. I genuinely do. I think they're going to have a slump. They've started like a house on fire, but I do think they, they'll have a slump. But it's whether anyone capitalises. And right now, Arsenal, Tottenham and Man United, we're done out here. We're all done out here. Get back on FIFA, says Jerome. I'm still waiting for Wi-Fi, man. That's why I'm caning £20 a stream. <laughs> More than £20. £25 now I've done on this stream. Um, so, yeah, as soon as I get Wi-Fi, which I've had mad dramas with, I even flooded the apartment earlier when I blocked the toilet and it just kept overflowing. I swear, I've had so much drama since I've got here. It's not been the start to Spanish life that I wanted, but it can only get better. Uh, things can only get better. So, yeah. Uh, would you take Valverde, uh, says Abdullah? No, I wouldn't. Um, no, I wouldn't, mate. I'm going to read one more comment out and I'm going to get out of here. So do drive the likes up. Do subscribe. Thank you very much again for 30K. If you didn't read, uh, didn't watch, sorry, the um, thanks for 30K video, that's the last one on the channel. So go and check that out. Um, I'm 28 today. Happy for your 30K. Keep posting. Big up, JBO. Happy birthday to you, buddy. Hope you've had a sick day. Um, don't Google Arsenal transfer news, it'll ruin your birthday. And make sure you get on the Estrella and the Paella. And I think we'll end it on that. A nice happy note. Big up yourself, bro. Thank you to everyone in the chat. Thanks for all the donations. As always, I don't ask for them, you do it out of kindness. Uh, big up everyone who's watched live, everyone watching on playback. And um do subscribe, do share, and do drive the likes up. I will be back tomorrow. Um, I'm going to go and have a couple more beers and thank you very much. Laters, peeps.